assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to the lecture of the quantum mechanics in this lecture uh, we will discuss uh, problem number 3.25 we should consider a particle of mass m which moves under the influence of a gravity the particle's hamiltonian is equal to h is equal to pg square uh, over 2m minus mgz where g is the acceleration due to gravity its value is g 9.8 meter so calculate uh, d uh, z over dt and then d p over dt then d h over dt then solve the equation d z over dt and obtain z of t means uh, when we solve uh, d z over uh, dt uh, first start the equation for z so this uh, for it will give us uh, z if at later time t and similarly uh, we have given some condition then z at 0 is equal to h and put momentum at 0 is equal to 0 this is the initial condition compare the result with the classical result z of t is equal to which uh, is equal to minus 1 over 2 gt square plus h because when a particle fall uh, so we know that y is equal to minus uh, gt square plus some initial v not so we will have to compare this result at the end so let's start and go to solutions first <coughs> in order to solve this problem we are going to use the fact that time evolution of expectation value d a or dt is equal to 1 over u dash cut uh, into expectation value or average value of a h commutator plus partially or partial d and then uh, moreover we are going uh, to use the distributive property of the commutator a b into c is equal to a into b c and plus a into c into b okay finally we will use this the fact x into p x is equal to iota h cut okay we will uh, make use of these three formula uh, where we got so the first part is <coughs> to prove this in order to solve this problem we are simply going to apply equation 1 to all given variable we start with d z over d t is equal to 1 over u dash cut this per partial 0 partial t okay first uh, we calculate d z over d t so d z over d t will be equal to uh, d z over d z is t were equal to 1 over iota h cut z into h cut plus partial z over partial t because here uh, we have uh, z in the place of a so just replace uh, a is equal to z and we will uh, have uh, this form okay then <coughs> since uh, z does not explicitly depend upon time we have the uh, we have that the last part partial z over partial t is equal to zero because z does not uh, depend upon time this was given in the question that z does not depend upon time so its derivative will be equal to zero so dz over dt is equal to 1 over iota h cut z and h was given which is equal to pg square over 2 minus mg z so if i will get <coughs> again okay if i maximize it so that you can see it clearly you know that uh, here <coughs> we have two commutator commutator of z with this and commutator of z with this so this term will goes to zero because if you take the commutator of this with this this contains z this will become like self commutator which is equal to zero so we will take uh, the commutator of z with only this so one over iota h cut as it z and p z square over 2m this constant will come out uh, to m iota h cut okay and uh, we will use the formula as we already mentioned in this one this one uh, distributivity formula so this will uh, lead to pz into pz into z plus pz into z and into pz pz is the z component of the momentum you know that uh, z into z into p z uh, z is equal to uh, iota h cut so p z into z will be equal to minus iota h cut okay so we can <coughs> replace uh, p z into z to minus iota h cut similarly here 
at this part so this will lead to 1 over 2 iota in h cut 2 iota h cut into pz so some term will be get uh, cancelled and we will left with dz over dt is equal to pz over m so we have solved for the first and then in the next if i go for the next then i think dp z over dt will be equal to 1 over iota h cut pz h plus partial p over partial t so since uh, p uh, momentum for z component does not explain depend upon t so it, this term will goes to zero so we will have dp over dt is equal to 1 over iota h cut uh, p z and for in the place of hamiltonian we will write m p z square over 2 m minus m g z and you know that uh, this is p z uh, this pz, a commutator of this pz with this pz component will be zero because this becomes self commutation. So we will not take into account and pz into mgz um, will be uh, the effective part. So one over you touch cut pz and commutator of uh, minus mg into z with this. So m minus mg will come out because it is constant. Uh, so it will become mg over you touch cuts. So mg or your h cut and moment commuted drop pz into z is equal to minus iota h cut. So this will become iota h cut. Some term will be get cancelled uh, as you know that iota h cut can be cancelled with this. So dp over dt will be equal to mg. Similarly, uh, finally we look at the Hamiltonian. So <coughs> what will be dh over dt? It will, if I maximize it. dh over dt will be equal to 1 over iota h cut into h into h plus partial h over partial t. Similarly, uh, since h does not express depend upon time, so partial h over partial t will be 0 and this is also uh, self commutation. Uh, the second term, the first term, this will be also 0 because this is the self commutation and h does not depend upon time, so this will equal to 0. So dh over dt will be equal to uh, 0. Okay, let's uh, go. For the second part, again I will maximize it. Uh, again, uh, in the second part, we have to find that d. We can integrate this equation uh, in which we have to find the value of z at later time. So we have dz over dt is equal to pz over m. We have obtained uh, this result in the first part and we will solve it for z. So the basic method is to take the z on the other side. So it will become dt and integrate this equation like this. So dz will become is equal to pz over m and dt. If you integrate this on both sides, so this will give z. Uh, and let initial time and later time at this will become pz over m into t plus z naught. If you use uh, initial condition, so this will equal to z is equal to pz uh, t over m plus iota h cut. So, so we know that some major difference uh, in how the expression look like in the quantum versus classical mechanics because in the classical mechanics uh, it is equal to uh, g t square over 2 plus uh, z naught but here it is z is equal to p z uh, t over m plus h card so how these two relations are different